Yo, it's your boy Lord Hat. Today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to play Apex Legends Mobile with a PS4 controller using the gyroscope. I'm using my controller right now. I'm holding it at an awkward angle, so don't mind me. Right? This is complete gyro. Move it up, down, right, left. You know what I'm saying? I have abilities as well, but I don't have it mapped to a specific button, right? So if I want to use that, get my shotgun out, boom, you're dead. First step, I'm going to teach you guys how to get the game on PC first. So, what you want to do? You want to go to Google right here, right? Game Loop. I already got it open, actually. You want to go to Game Loop. The link will be in the description for everything I'm talking about in this video. So you don't got to worry too much, right? You want to download Game Loop, right? Download it. Right, you want to install it, get all of it done. I guess I, I'll, re I'll reinstall it just to show you guys that um, this is not bullshit. Okay, you're going to install it. I already have it installed, so install Game Loop, right? And when you're done installing Game Loop, you want to go up here. Well, you see the little search up here? Type in Apex Legends, right? And then it's going to see the first thing. The first game is going to say Apex Legends Mobile. That should be pretty straightforward, right? You're going to install that John, right? It's going to take a little minute. So I'm going to fast forward this part. I'm not going to skip it so that you guys know that this is not bullshit. This is real stuff right now. Alright, so the game just finished downloading. As you can see, it's loading right now into the game. So we're gonna let it load and do its thing, you know what I'm saying? How y'all doing though? Y'all good? That's good. That's great. You know what I'm saying? As soon as this loads up, I'm gonna need y'all to do me one favor. It says installing game. It's gonna take a little minute. So we're gonna we're gonna fast forward this part as well. Da da di 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 Okay, verifying download, right? We could skip all this, right? So, when this game Electronic Arts pop up, you want to close it. Why do I have my, my volume down? Hold on, y'all. I'm going to bring it up a little bit. You've probably heard the, the game started. You see it. You want to close it out, right? About me. The one thing you want to do is you want to copy my settings. Go up here, the little three dotted line up here for settings, and then you want to copy everything that you see in here so your game does not crash, right? Basic, auto run at startup, check. Hide advanced watermarks, don't check that. Best fixed window ratio, check. Everything else, English, whatever language, that don't matter. You can put whatever language. Country district, that don't matter, right? Screenshot, that don't matter, that don't matter. Let's go to engine, right? You're going to put that drawn on auto and then check one, two, three, and four. Just copy everything, you know what I'm saying? Anti-aliasing off. Memory, I got it on four gigabytes of memory. This laptop has eight gigabytes of memory. So what you want to do to know... How much you got, you could either put it on automatic or, you know what I'm saying, you could go on your system settings, go on your system information. Where is it? Where is it? You could look right here. Oh, wow. This actually has 16 gigabytes of RAM, right? You want to divide it by two. So go open your calculator, 16 divided by two. That's eight. I could actually bump it up to eight gigabytes. So that's about 1,000 megabytes per gigabyte, right? So if I have 1,600 16,000 megabytes, that's 16 gigabytes. So obviously I'm gonna put this on eight, you know what I'm saying? And then the processor, automatic resolution, I put it on 1280 by 720, but if you want it to be even more faster, you can put it down to 1024 by 576. Screen DPI, 120. Model, this is very important. Very blood clot important. Common model, you're gonna put that shit on ASS, A Asus RUG2, I butchered that name, but you get the point. You're gonna go to game. Put it on SD 720p. You're gonna put the graphics quality on smooth, and then you're gonna put this John. You wanna put it on 60 if you have like a mid tier laptop. But me, I have a, a pretty brolic laptop. Like it's a gaming laptop, so I'll put it on the max, which is 120. But it gives you a warning here that says this setting takes effect next time you enter the game. Enabling a high FPS may cause instability. I read that really well. Come on now, I'm I'm good at this. You know what I'm saying? And then account, you you can log in if you want to, but I'm not logged in, you know what I'm saying? Because I usually play on my phone, but I'm making this video because everyone's asking me how I did it in my last video. So, here it is, right? When you do that, you can open the game now. You can open the game, right? Open the game, open the game, open the game, open the game. If y'all see me keep doing this to my hair, 
It's because it's a little itchy. You know what I'm saying? I'm not dirty. It's just a thing that happens when you have, like, you know what I'm saying, hair like mine, you know? It gets a little... You know what I'm saying? It gets a little itchy up there sometimes. Okay? The game is going to start. You're going to let it do its downloading and all that good stuff, right? Electronic Ops. EA. <laughs> Pay to win. Probably All day, every day, then. Rumors swirling around. Rumors about me. Look at Rhapsody. That I keep right, it's gonna collapse. retrieve version info, that all I that good stuff. My own home. Download a resource pack. Sold my soul I'm gonna fast forward this part so you guys enjoy this. my little rant. But ask yourself, who benefits from distorting the truth? The ones in control or the ones fighting for their lives? I just keep trying to turn out the truth, but they can't turn out me. Oh. Okay, I think we're almost done. I think we're almost done. I think we're good. 93, 96, 99. 100. Okay, we're good, ladies and gentlemen. So you just put the year. Do not put anything below 1999. Okay? I usually like to go for 1991, and in a month I put one. So if you're under 18, they're not going to let you play the game, and you're going to have to read, like, you're going to have to do a lot of stuff. So put 1991, one, just, just to be safe. You know, it doesn't really matter, right? You can log in with your Google account from your phone. For this video, I'm just going to use my phone account. Right, you can log in on Facebook, you can do a guest account, you can do all kinds of things, right? It doesn't really matter, right? Here you go, I'm gonna show you the game works. You know what I'm saying? This is not cap, this is not a bullshit tutorial. Okay, it's loading again. It loves to load, you know, everything's load. Just load, load, load. It's great, it's loading. You know what I'm saying? Diggity da da. Alright, as you can see, the game is, is working. It's working, right? If I go to firing range, it's going to work. The first couple of times you play the game, it's going to lag a little bit because it's still trying to get all the information in the game. You got to download the textures and all that good stuff. Just make sure you download all the assets in the game. Let it sit open for like 10 minutes when you get into the game so it doesn't go... You know, no, you don't want that. You know what I'm saying? But as you can see, the game works. You know what I'm saying? I could jump, do all, all the stuff that I want to do. I can use my abilities, all that good stuff. Okay, I can't use my abilities. I guess I have to map it. But anyways, you get the point. Uh, let me see. Let me look at my keyboard mappings. Yeah, it's moved over a little bit. So Q should be here. Z should be there. And if I try it again, let me see. All right, hold on. I got, I got 17 seconds. Hold on, let me just use another champion. Switch, Bloodhound. All right, use my abilities. Kablam, you see what I'm saying? But now, part two of the video, let me show you guys how to use the controller as a gyro. You know what I'm saying? So that when you tilt it, it actually works. It's not gonna work now because I don't have it set up, right? So what you wanna do, right? You wanna go back to the video description or in the pinned comments. You wanna go to a website called R-E-W-A-S-D, it's up here, dot com, right? You're gonna download this. It's basically a program that allows you to map your controller to a keyboard button, right? So for example, right, if I wanna move this analog with uh, my keyboard, I could put this on W-A-S-D, or the arrow keys on my keyboard. But anyways, let me get back to it. So you're gonna download this program, this lovely program. I already have this installed as well. So I'm, I'm really not gonna install it, but you wanna install it, it's safe, there's no virus, you're gonna be fine. I promise, you know what I'm saying? You, it's, a, it's a seven day free trial, by the way. I bought the app, but you don't need to, right? If you want to buy the app, by all means, it's $7, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure. It says agree and reinstall. I already installed this, right? So what I'm gonna do, you guys install it, it's gonna ask you to restart your computer. You're gonna restart your computer so that it could do all the drivers and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? When you're done restarting your computer, you're going to come back to this lovely video, right? Save it. You're going to open R-E-W-A-S-D on your computer, right? Let me unplug this, 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 this controller. You're going to get your controller, your PS4 controller. Get the controller. This is a PS4 controller. It's, it's a regular, the first PS4 controller that ever came out. It's nothing modded about it, right? So you're going to get the wire. You're going to plug it into your, into your computer and blam, you should get a little... You know what I'm saying? I got it on red right now, right? So, here's the actual part that matters. You see on the left side of the screen over here? You're going to click on this little controller right here. You should feel it vibrate every time you click on it. It's vibrating, right? You can change the LED settings, get fancy and all that shit, but 
You know what I'm saying? That's not what we're here for, right? You want to change it, you know what I'm saying? You can change this to fucking blue, green, all, all times of stuff, right? You can change this as well. You know what I'm saying? Just have fun with it. Just, just have a good old time, right? You can change this to a solid glow, all types of stuff. It's, it's up to you, really, right? Anyways, back to it. Save yes. Okay, now... You want to make a new game profile, right? I already have one here, but that's for my other controller. This is it's for this controller right here, the Steam controller. You guys probably have never seen this controller a day in your life, but you know what I'm saying? If you know the Steam controller, you know, right? So you want to create a new game profile, and you're going to name it Apex Legends Mobile Blood Clot, right? Bow. And then you should, you should have a new screen that pops up. Boom. Shakalaka. Bada baba. Okay, now. You want to open back game loop. You want to go up here, right up here. You're going to press on keyboard mapping, right? And what you want to do, you want to press keyboard. Do not press gamepad. We're not using that, right? We're going to use keyboard. Why are we using keyboard? Because we're going to use the, the keyboard settings on here and put it on the controller. Make sense? Um, okay, if it doesn't make sense, I'm going to explain it to you. So you see how you can move with WASD, right? Check this out. This is your analog, right? If I press it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to recognize, right? So I could press up on the analog, and then I could press W on my keyboard. You see where it says right there, W? Now, when I press up, it's going to be mapped to W, right? I can show you how it works. I'm going to just press apply up here. Hold on. Let me, let me read the screen down a little bit. Sorry about that, guys. I did not realize that it was, it was kind of capped a little bit. Sorry about that so sorry this is so unprofessional but anyways right you're gonna press apply up here right and let me show you that it actually works let me open uh notepad real quick all right let me open it up so we have notepad right now if i flip my analog up it's gonna give me w you see that that's how it works nothing else is binded right now so that's how it works now if i go in the game and i do the same thing right save I can move now, but nothing else is, I didn't put a button on anything else, right? So let's continue. Go open up R, E, W, A, S, D again. You're going to open back your keyboard mapping, right? You just want to copy every button. Remember, make sure keyboard at the top over here, you're on keyboard so you can see what buttons are what, right? Make sure some of these buttons are uh, on each button. Okay, good. Cool. Okay. So. I'm going to put this on, you could either click it too and then press, you can click here and then go, but that's mad work. You just press A on your keyboard for the left stick or go to the left. You can click this, press D to go to the right, click that, press S. And if you want to crouch with this, you could click the middle button and then you just press a button. You just click all these buttons that you see on the controller and you press it, right? Okay, cool. Let me, uh, we're going to put this on space, which is a uh, jump. We're going to put this on C, which is crouch. As you can see, uh, hold on. You see, uh, let me see. C is down here. That's crouch. Space is to jump. A right click is to aim down, right? So you're going to obviously put that on the triggers. You want to go on this right side over here, right? You got the left side. This is what I shoot with. So I'm going to put that over here. Press this. And then I'm going to press mouse left. When you want to use the triggers, you want to put it on the left mouse button, right? So you want to go down, left mouse button, and you want to go, what you going to call it, right mouse button. Not, do not use mouse left and right. That moves the camera around. That was my mistake. I'm so sorry. Don't kill me, right? Okay. Now you got other buttons like, uh, what else do we have? We have reload, right? You can press square, press R to reload. Triangle. You could use that to swap weapons, or you could use this to swap weapons. You have unlimited customization options. However you want to map it is however you want to map it, right? So I'm going to just do this very quickly. If you have questions, please put it in the comment section below. Or you could join the Discord and ask me as well. It will be in the description as well. But I usually put my change button on a uh, change weapons item on triangle. So I'm going to show you guys a trick. When you press 1 on this, right, you see this little button up here? This is when you press single press, which is when you press triangle one time, right? Now, if I go over here to where it says double press, that means when I double tap triangle, I can switch to my secondary weapon. So I'm going to put that on 2. So I press 1, 2, 1, 2. So you can play with all these. If you want to do a long press version, you can do that too, right? 
double press, bada ba boom, right? Anyways, let's move forward. Start, that could be, I guess, like options, so escape. You know what I'm saying? Is escape options? Let's check. Yes, it is, right? And then we could put that on M, which is the map. Select could be the map, right? This home key in the middle could be whatever button you want. You have unlimited joints, right? All right, let's get into the gyro, right? I'm not going to bind everything. So let's just get to the fucking point, right? So, gyro. What you want to do, you want to go on this right stick right here. Push this. Press mouse down, right? This is where you control your sensitivity, right? X is how you aim left to right. Y is how you aim up and down. So if you want to take it off and want to play with it and have different sensitivities for up and down, feel free, right? I'm going to keep it together just for the sake of this tutorial. And if you want to get even more advanced, you can press advanced down here. And it's going to give you even more things you can play with, like the dead zone, the response curve, you know what I'm saying? This does not give you additional aim assist, so don't even think this is hacking. It's not. It's literally just a key mapping tool, okay? Apply. Oh, smack. Right? Press back. I pressed apply by mistake, but it doesn't really matter, right? Boom, right? You want to put this right stick back to it. Go here, mouse left. Go to the right, mouse right. Go up, mouse up, right? Now, if I press apply, look what happens. Wow. Wow. That's amazing, right? Cool. Now, this swiggly thing right here, that is your gyro. So you're going to press up, right? It says gyro. Mapping will work while move your controller, right? You could put it on tilt, but that, that, that it sucks. You don't want to, you want to use gyro, right? You want to do the same thing. Mouse up you want to put the same thing on the down version mouse down mouse right and hold on mouse left right the smoothing down here is how much like how how much jitter you're gonna have so if you want your gyro to not pick up on the smallest movements you can put your smoothing a little bit more up if you wanted to capture every little movement you make you put it all the way down. I usually use it all the way down and play with a low gyro sensitivity, but that's a whole nother video for another day. If you want that video, let me know in the comment section below. But now, right, now that you have your gyro set up, right, make sure they're all set up each direction, and then you're gonna press apply. Watch what happens as soon as I pick up my controller. Holy shit, that's crazy. You know what I'm saying, that's crazy, right? Okay, now, some of you guys may not want gyro on while you're picking up your controller. You probably just want it on when you get your hands off of the thumbstick. I could make another video for that as well. But anyways, let's go back into um, Apex Legends Mobile now, right? We're going to press save. I don't have every button um, used on the... I don't have every button mapped to the controller right now, so obviously some of the buttons are not going to work, right? But now, look. This mouse, let me just get in the game. I'm going to move it over. I'm going to put it on my shoulder. I'm going to put it on my shoulder, right? So I'm not cheating, right? Look, as soon as soon as I pick up this controller, right, left, up, down, right? I move this around, right? If I want to press X, bow. Did I bind my jump button? Oh, I didn't bind the jump button, right? If I move this around, I'm moving around, right? So now you have gyro. You have gyro. You can gyro aim, right? You can do all kinds of stuff. You can gyro aim, do whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? If you guys want a more advanced tutorial on how to use R-E-W-A-S-D, please let me know. If you found this tutorial helpful, put this mouse down, right? You know what I'm saying? Drop a like, comment below, and all that good stuff. If you have questions, join the Discord and talk to me. I'm always in the group chat getting lit, wavy, you know what I'm saying? Ask me questions. But um, yeah, this is how to use uh, your PS4 controller with gyro right let me switch to my other controller and show you guys like what a complete controller looks like right so this is my ps4 controller i'm gonna switch it off to something else right i'm gonna get my steam controller this is what i used in my other video right i already have a profile for it give me a second guys this is just for um entertainment purposes only i said entertainment purposes right so look at this i already have everything co uh, uh combined as you can see the binds are on the right Everything you see is, is on the right. Hold on, I lied. Everything you see is light up. 
Everything's set up already. So, right? Look at this. Put this over here. I can move around with this. I could jump, crouch. Hold on, let me let me move up a little bit. Right? I could jump, crouch. I could punch. I can use my abilities. All kinds of stuff. I have back pedals on the back of this as well, right? So the whole thing works. I could do. I could bunny hop with this. I could have a good old time. You know what I'm saying? This is all. This is all. It works. It does what it needs to do, right? So thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know if you need assistance on anything else, and I'll get it. I'll help you with it. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, we out of here. No cap.